Oh my gosh. This is just too much. It's too much, you see. How's it going, everyone? It's going well. It's going well. As you can see, we're, we're, we're banging on all cylinders here. <laughs> Parker Blanton's here. Hello, Parker. Taven Stage, Joshua. Adonis Dudley. Online Russell. Uh, Chloe Le Levi. I hope, anyway. Reeling with Rocco. Oh, thank you. Delivery, delivery for me. Um, but I'm Dak Force. Oh, well, that's no fun. Mad Bass is here. Hello, hello. I'm reading some names thinking, okay, they're just here for the second half, but I respect showing up early, you know. Aaron's here. Yo, 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 yo. Still getting used to the mic. Still getting used to the mic. I, I guess in a way, yes. Because it's right here, but I always face forward. Are you getting used to it, or am I getting used to it? I don't know. Maybe both. Donuts Dudley, Kilo Knight, Chloe's here. Name right. Not a lot of people do. Hey, right on. Good deal. Azantima. Azantima. I hope. I, I know I butchered that. I'm sorry. Here we are, everybody. The last stream, and it's only a half stream in Medved Taiga. What do you think about that, Bjorn2? What do you think about that, buddy? There's a uh, Eurasian Lynx up there. It is a windy, windy day right now. Um, I think what we'll do is just go ahead, change the time to uh, hit up some of these uh, reindeer spots. Let's see, to make sure we hit the right time here. Let's go to uh, six o'clock. Man, it'd be nice if we could get uh, us a uh, diamond reindeer before this is all over, wouldn't it? Look for my hat. I thought my hat was nearby. Goodness gracious. How's it going? How's it going? I'm installing Fishing Planet again. Well, good deal, Joshua. Glad to hear it. What's up, BZ? Love your videos, but where's Bjorn? Bjorn is still drying off right now. He, uh... We, we all went on a, uh... My brother and I and Bjorn, we went to, uh nearby creek and uh went swimming and so uh he is very wet right now but uh he had a good time him and oslo we went we went uh swimming in the in the creek he doesn't really enjoy swimming but we did a lot of walking did a lot of swimming in the in the creek um and had a decent time though we had to uh give them baths when we got back because they stank really badly Got a big black drum in real life. 94 pounds. Holy smokes, Adonis. That is giant, my man. That, that is really cool. You'll definitely have to post a pic in the uh, in the old Discord. What the heck? This was a uh, this was a reindeer spot. Now it's a bear spot, evidently. There's bears everywhere. We got four different bears. Four, two fours, a seven, and a six. What's the deal, Bjorn 2? What's all these bears here for? <laughs> Are you going to play at Char Chargers? What is what does that mean? What is that? Sounds crisp as crap. Crisp as crap? Oh god, I don't know what that means. Crisp as crap. You want to pull it on up on my Xbox so that I can play Fishing Planet on my phone? Ooh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, we got one Siberian Mus. Ooh, I just saw some. Something just popped up on the old. There it is. Two Siberian musk deer. Okay. Three Siberian musk deer. Where's the dang reindeer? Oh, I see him. I see him walking. See him back there in the trees? Walking around like a bunch of fools. And all these dang bears. Which is still a surprise to me. Where the heck did they come from? So we've got three different reindeer locations, um, which is pretty, it's pretty fantastic. A huge redfish, 101 pounds. My God, I'd say so. I can't even imagine how big that is. Uh, 
That is pretty pretty crazy. That that is that is the all-time world record, seeing as the uh, largest redfish in the world was 94 pounds. So you beat the world record. Congratulations. You did it. Now you'll never have to go fishing again for redfish because you beat them all. You beat them all. Oh my god, what are you doing? They're all walking across now. Well, that's gonna make it easier for us. Good deal. Okay, so we only got a small one so far. Oh, checking out these musk deer. This one's actually a pretty decent musk deer, that one right there, 26 to 31, but he's still only a level 2. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we should send a 223 downrange at him and then switch and hit up some of these caribou or the reindeer. The rainbow? Or what? There's a lure. Oh, our wind's going right to him. I see that now. I was behind on the times. Behind on the times there. Let's go. Let's send one downrange at this guy, since he's the biggest one. And then I'm going to switch it up. Not bothered at all. Send a second one down range at him. These ones over here are still just chillaxing. So, oh, look at that guy. There's a level four. We'll take out that level four there. So I want to do a double check on the range here. 285 on the dot. I think we're good. Pretty fantastic location for a tree stand, if you ask me. If you were to ask me, can we get rid of all these bears? That's the question. Let's see. This is Max, if you didn't know that about- yes, I do know. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. Post a pic in the Discord? Yeah, good deal. Oh, that was the backside. Are we shooting through this tree or not? I can't tell. I'm not sure where that fourth bear went. We sent, uh... The mission was to send some rounds down range, and that's exactly what we did. Good deal. <laughs> Gone again. YouTube Wolf Boy, you're graduating from high school. Well, congrats there. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You excited for anything? My uh, my cousin actually graduated from high school and uh, started uh, training to be a firefighter. So he's uh, he's pretty excited about that. We're all excited for him too. He's excited about it, so we're excited for him. So you know, I think a, a lot of people these days think that they you know. Need to go to college or something after high school, but hey, need firefighters too. So, pretty neato, if you ask me. So, some reindeer over here. Let's pick up this guy. Right on the money. Right on the money. So, we still have some reindeer over here, and then uh, we'll go pick up that musket here as well. Chloe, congrats. BC, any tips on how to earn money at level 20? You betcha. Absolutely. Catch fish, uh, usually bass around that level is what I recommended. Um, if you're not at the Everglades yet, which is fine if you're not, uh, I would go check out uh, Naharan. Lots of good bass at Naharan. And, uh, and if you upgrade your bass equipment at Naharan, then you'll get to keep using it at Naharan and then also get to use it at uh, at the Everglades once you eventually get there. So it's a pretty good deal, honestly. Fishing fishing for bass in Naharan. I don't know if we ever got any of these bears. It says we might have. That's a that's a decent little spot there. Hearing a reindeer making noise. Yep. Oh, and a lynx. Level two lynx. I don't think we'll uh, add more pressure to our spot. 
Unless it was a good scoring Lynx. Then maybe I'd change it up. Did I miss Martin? What? Marone River? No, we just started, dude. What do you think? What do you think? I played it for uh, ten minutes and already switched over. Yes, yeah, silly goober. Let's go. Uh, I've given up on the bears already. Let's go find the uh, musk deer, and then we'll uh, move on to a new location. We got the three different locations now, as you might have heard me before. So uh, we can hit them up. Wait for the reindeer to spawn again and then get back at it, is the idea anyway. Alright, looking for blood, Bjorn 2. Keep your nose to the ground, Bjorn 2. Smelling, smelling blood. I swear I saw something moving over there. Oh, oh. Oslo Poslo at the door. So many tracks around here. Bjorn 2, find uh, find some blood, buddy. We shot it over there, over here. We had to, right? Oh. I think it was up here, maybe. Oh, Bjorn 2 barked. I don't know where he is though. Do you know there is going to be a new map for Hunter Call of the Wild soon? I do know that. Yes, I am all up to date on Hunter Call of the Wild nearly all of the time. Okay, here you are, bud. I, he I hear you now. I see you. More like. Yeah, sure enough. Okay. Oh, great. Perfect shot. Heron right now I'm making bank on smallmouth. There you go. Chloe's got it. Can't play Undercom PC because it doesn't start up. Huh. Interesting. I would, uh, if you're using um, Steam, I would uh, verify the integrity of your game, is what I always do. Anytime I'm having trouble with the game not starting up, as the first thing I do is I right click on it, go to properties, and, uh, and then look it up from there. So we didn't get a good shot on it, but let's see here, 185. Yeah, would have been gold, but not anywhere close to a diamond, even still. Right on, two flush shots on that bad boy. Good deal, uh, great, great shots there, Bo, good job. Okay, let's go check out this spot now. Benny boy is here, how's it going? Saucy Zavi. Hi, BZ. I made it. You make my day every time I see you live or post a video. Matthew Roberts. Well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That makes me feel good. Which, you know, helps me in the grand scheme of things. Even if you say it helps you. Helping me as well. Keeps the motivation, the morale up high. We got more bears, we got more bears, we got more musk deer. Nothing to write home about though. We got another musk deer, okay, good deal. Another bear. The bear and the musk deer are very heavy throughout these, uh, this region. A little three over there, another little two musk deer. Where are the big, ooh, there's a level four. God, I saw that one antler and I got real excited for a second. That one antler was real big. Everything else was real small though. What's the deal? Look at this bear hanging out with all the musk deer. There was a, those are his friends. Her friends. Well, we won't interrupt that. That looks like a lot of fun. How long till fishing planet? Keep up good work. Well, the stream is from 7.30 to 9.30. I'll make you do a little bit of a uh, little bit of math there being a half and half stream But uh, but yeah, you might be able to guess it Which game do you like better hunter call the wild or uh, fishing planet? Um, I Like them both I've said before I started my channel because of the hunter call of the wild, but 
Um, I don't know. I get more relaxation from playing Fishing Planet. So, uh, I find myself playing Fishing Planet more often. Plus, there's not as many people that make videos for Fishing Planet, which kind of helps me as a content creator, which I enjoy, so. You know, that whole thing. Strategy, video making, etc. Alright, let's just take these guys out. I guess. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Oh, nice grass! I'm excited for a second. I thought we had more reindeer over there. Couldn't have asked for a better shot. Those guys. Okay, here we go. Drop. Drop. This, uh, this location always seems to be heavy with all sorts of animals. Although it never seems to be that great of animals at the moment anyway. We're real, real close to this spot, so we can't see anything. Oh, you should be dead. Why are you running so far away? That was a horrible, horrible angle. Otherwise, I'd take those out too. Well, we got two reindeer anyway. By the time we go pick them up... Should we take a shot at this guy? Any luck, we got a little bit of penetration on it. Might have got a vital. Let's see. Fishing Planet map for 43. Um... Uh, St. Croix, right? Doing a little bit of St. Croix, maybe a little bit of White Moose on the side, maybe some Kanique Creek when you unlock it, trying to, uh... No, I guess you're right, 43 would be more Sturgeon fishing. So yeah, you're in the Sturgeon grind. It is, uh, where a lot of people quit playing the game, to be honest. <laughs> it's really boring, um, so... Basically, what I would recommend is um, spend a little bit, spend an hour or two fishing for sturgeon, making some money, leveling up, and then uh, and then go do something for fun. Go uh, go to an area that you've never spent a lot of time at before, uh, Kanik Creek or something. Um, just something to break up how boring catching the same fish. For hours and hours and hours can be horribly boring. So that's what I would recommend. Break it up. You know, do a little bit of it and then uh, change it up and uh, fish for something else. You're the best one. Oh, thank you. Well, goodness, great. A lot of competition then, right, eh? <laughs> Dogs, can you show the dogs tonight? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Depends on how uh, how the stream's going, of course. I'm over, we went right by this guy. Bjorn 2 didn't even bark, buddy. There's that first antler I got excited about, and then he was real small on the other one. Well, that's the deal there. I'm still making that moolah, though. That's what matters. That's what matters. All right, what do we got? We got a bear to pick up. We got one more reindeer. Let's go do that. Tried doing multiplayer and it broke? Oh no. Yeah, it is. If they add an Australian map, I think the same move would be in the 40s. In the 40s. Maybe, yeah. Um, but I'll, to be honest, I don't foresee Fishing Planet adding in a location that wouldn't progress their levels. Um, maybe they've got something planned, um, but otherwise I really think that whatever they add in is just going to be, you know, if we're at, uh, if we're at level 80 or something right now, the next one's... <laughs> 
it's going to have to take a bit 85 or something like that. Um, I just really don't see them adding in a map that wouldn't raise the level cap because that's just kind of just kind of the grind they're into. It's what makes them money because um, if if they raise the level cap up, then they get to put out a DLC for it versus if they put out a new map and it's in the level 40s and whatnot. Well, majority of players already have equipment for level 40. Um, so they wouldn't need to buy a DLC. And as messed up as that may sound, um, that's just how they keep the lights on. That's how they design their business model, right? Just posted the redfish. Ooh, very nice. Let's see. Here. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I don't see any posts. Don't see any posts. Oh. Come on. Get the right thing up here. There we go. The dogs are too cute not to see. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> to get the dogs, I have to, I have to stop what I'm doing to to go get the dogs. So they don't they don't answer to their name. I have to literally stop the stream and go rile them up and bring them in here, um, which I don't like to do. I don't like to just leave all of a sudden. So, uh, that's usually why we don't have them in here. <laughs> because I like to... I like to play the game. That's what we're here for. As much fun as it is to see the dogs. How's Zach doing? He's probably feeling pretty good after graduating. He he is, yeah. Graduated, all done there. Um, now he's just doing a little bit of work until the actual work starts, I suppose. Um, so, yeah. Life is moving right along for him, I suppose. Best lure for sea trout. You got me. <laughs> lake lake trout. I always use the red medium spoon was my lucky My lucky lure anyway. I always thought that the lake trout um, Seemed to go for the medium spoon though crankbaits will work as well You can get away with using some crankbaits and stuff I saw there was some reindeer behind this rock it's not gonna oh the one that was pretty decent size is gonna run off well if we hurry I'm not sure if we'll catch a glimpse of them or not come on big in come out of those trees There he is. Oh, had one bullet. That's what we did. Get the job done, hopefully. <laughs> We're waiting. We're waiting to see if he goes down. He was kind of on a trot there. Had to lead a little bit. Pro pastor when you grow up. Well, best of luck to you. Try a popping cork with Jake and a white fluke. I think the cork is what I do around here. Well, there you go. Let's see about first saltwater trout. Tyranno King. Hello, hello, hello. All right, did we get him? We did get him. Okay. Well, let's go get him real quick, and then we're gonna move on to our next location. We got half an hour still. We still got time. We still got time to find something good. Could have got that musk deer, I guess. Stinking musk deer. Got a trout on Popper on Emerald Lake. 
Well, right on. A trout. You caught a trout on at Emerald Lake? I don't even think they had trout at Emerald Lake. That would be nice. That would be nice. I enjoy fly fishing. I think it's a I think it's a lot of fun. Alright, Bjorn 2. Let's figure out where this guy went. Good deal. All right, all oh, track him. So far, I don't even need to use Bjorn too. We're just doing all right by our own. Dana Sherman's here. How's it going? And Dragiot, how's it going? Making headway on these reindeer. Still running, still running. There he is. There he is. All right. Still working with small, small reindeer. Let's move on to our next location. Then we might have to jump onto, um, goodness, we might have to jump onto a multiplayer map and come back. I'm not sure. It was during an event last year. Oh, what event? I'm trying to think of what event it could be. Chloe, becoming a hub, a hub man, hub woman. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. That's awesome. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you, Chloe. Appreciate it. Always fun to have people join the hub. It's a good time. It's a good time. Got uh, the musk deer and a bear so far. Real small bear as well. And uh, yeah, fairly small uh, musk deer too. Just working with small animals today. What's the deal? I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, why are you running now? Should we shoot? Oh, we got a bear on this side too. What the heck? Oh, six out there. Gosh. Couldn't we have just, you know, uh, rolled a dice or something like that and got like a level nine just randomly? That would have been nice. Want to see a big tarpon, I suppose? I don't know, you haven't showed me either of the first two fish you talked about. How is it that I always manage to do that? He dropped dead. Got him in the foot. Uh, I guess I thought uh, he was further out there than. Well, maybe he was further out than I even thought. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think we were shooting over him. Hey, he dropped dead. Well, heck. That's because I'm a master marksman, obviously. It's in the general chat. That is a big fish. I don't know what to believe. You said in the chat that it was 76 pounds, but here you said it was 104 pounds. Bunch of liars, you bunch of liars.
No, the Reaper's here. How's it going, Noah? God, okay. We're just, there are just like a bunch of small musk deer everywhere. Oh, hold your breath for just a moment, please, sir. was everyone's weekend I guess I should ask something not all about me how was everyone else's weekend Did anyone do anything fun that is what I'm curious about a little high on that shot actually another musk deer over there Oh, reindeer are kind of playing hard to get. What do we got? Oh, it's just a level three. Come on, man. Getting me excited for nothing. Jeez. Bunch of small boys. SMOL. Seeding photos are going to be in the Discord soon. Oh, okay. From your big garden? Your big, your big, big garden? I'm just saying, you know, I thought I made a pretty good big garden, but you're just taking it to the next level, you know? Using tractors and stuff? What's that about? Jeez, it's like you're playing farming center or something in real life. <laughs> 300 acre big garden, yeah. Jeez, what's the deal? Oh, 3,000 acre. Oh, okay. I guess. I guess. That sounds like a lot. I don't know. I don't know if I would try that. If someone offered me a 3,000 acre plot of land in Farming Simulator, I would be like, no thanks. That would take me way too long to do. We got a good boy. We didn't though. He's not dead. What is the deal? I thought we had a good shot on that dude He must have been further out than I thought Well, I can't wait till we get those rangefinder binoculars those will be nice eh? being able to actually see how far away things are without having to check the map every time That would be ideal Start seeing at the beginning of May here. Well, what's the deal? It's just raining or a lot something like that Weather related I guess question mark Biggest or funnest fish I caught in real life Be that really be the redfish down in uh, Florida. See he's hurt. Oh, we got him in the leg or something Poor guy There you go out of your misery bud out of your misery, bud. Be that uh, that redfish down in Florida. Though hopefully, here in August, we get a uh, go down to Texas, hit up those alligator gar. Hopefully, we'll change that. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, biggest is like 80 pound alligator gar or something like that. That'd be pretty neat. I'd be about that. Just posted the black drama. Oh okay. Top notch, top notch. You of course posted in the in real life section, right? Top notch. Oh yeah, sure enough. Boy, it was real close though. If it would have made it through that leg. It's amazing it didn't, being the 308. 
308 got stopped by a, a, a radius ulna. God, I think it still would have missed the heart by just that much. Just a bit. It would have rolled like right underneath it. We got that left left lung on the last one. They must have a uh, must. Yeah, these are polymer tips. Did they really like drive down the penetration of the 308? I'm curious. I am really curious. That was a rock bass the size of my hand in Sudbury, Ontario. Me and my dad are planning this summer to go somewhere with bigger fish. Hey, sounds good. When is Maroon? It's at the halfway point. Ooh. Ooh. Which, of course, Everyone who's everyone knows that we stream between 7.30 and 9.30 p.m. Central time, so halfway point. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Little math there. Little Bo the math teacher. Mooserton. Stinking Moosertons. Can we do this? Let's see. So the penetration on these uh, these uh, 308 rounds have not been impressing me. Oh, I don't think it did it. I don't think it's gonna do it then. It's at 50 to 75 now, but I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. A musk deer there. 25 to 50 now. Oh, there's a reindeer. Good deal. And they're up a bit so that we can see them better. There's a little four. Getting better slightly. Where's my tripod? Way the flip over there. Jeez Louise. I need to move the tripod closer. Too far away. There used to be a herd over here, but I don't even see them anymore. Oh, there they are. Just hadn't spawned into view yet. Bunch of small boys over there too. My god, we're still not close to it. How far away it is. Oculus VR, hi. Was it a Squish Flint's here? What? What's going on, Squish? This is a surprise. A nice surprise, mind you. I've been uh, seeing your flower picks. Very pretty, very pretty. Let's see if we can manage this. If we can't, I'm gonna move it. I don't really like its location. I don't really like it that much. I can't even see those original ones that we were looking at. Where the heck? Where the heck did they go? Is there also another herd over here? I can't recall actually now. I feel like there was, and that's why we had it go, yeah, right there. There's a level four. What we got? 325 on the distance there. So I was worth destined to be planted on the hottest day of the year. <laughs> Hey, that's that's good. It just needs water. It just needs right. It just needs water, and it'll be fine. Finally got called the wild. What's good gun to kill? Buffalo. Shh. The buffalo gun, of course. No, I'm kidding. Um, 300. You know, hit up that uh, class class nine, right? Class class nine, right? 
Yeah, they got the the 470, got 300, good one. Um, I always went with the 300, I always thought that was a pretty good one. Pretty good one there. Drop dead, caribou, rainbow, rainbow. Another level three over there. Boy, we're dialed in now, boys. Look at this dude. I'm not sure where the other ones are. My Wii soldiers are all red. Shoulders, your sh oh, your shoulders. Uh, sunburnt then, eh? Boy, Zachary and I have been uh, doing a little bit of tanning. Uh, while we've been fishing, I guess. Throw on a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the tanning ointment stuffaroni, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, then we tan a little bit. Might be a little high on that guy. Where are, there you are. There you are. Where's the other guy with the antlers? That guy. Hit a tree. Cool. Typing issues. I'm sure the plants will be fine. Who cares about them? <laughs> I need a midday nap. Uh, I I totally understand that. Uh, getting a little bit of sun, feeling drained, that sort of thing. I get. You know. But so after this weekend with all of Zachary's graduation stuff, my gosh. I, uh, I came home yesterday after his uh, one of his graduation things and I just I pretty much just fell in bed and I slept for like seven hours or something like that. Hopefully decent shots on those guys. Both of them. All right, we got rainbows to pick up. Let's go. Play Fishing Planet. Play Fishing Planet. It's your lucky day. We are going to play Fishing Planet. Well, thank you, Donuts. Right on. That's what I do all day. <laughs> Son, I turn into a mushroom. A mushroom? I don't get it. What what happened? Why do you turn into a mushroom? I'm confused. I'm trying to figure it out. You look away for three s I know, and you just totally messed up the double L loser times two. Started messaging a bunch of stuff. And you hit the giddy for us. What the heck's a giddy? There's no giddy to get. No giddy getting. Can't believe Zach's graduate. I know, right? It's like he's all grown up. He's like a, he's an adult now. What's the deal, huh? All right, Bjorn Two. Time to put your sniffer to the test. We got the we got animals to find. Let's go. Just give a few to get ready. Yeah, like uh, 13 minutes. Give me about 13 minutes to get ready. A mushroom from Minecraft. Ah, uh, yes, a mushroom from Minecraft. I'm not with you. Do you put if you put a mushroom in the sun, does it like blow up or something? There's got a mushroom trees in Minecraft. Will you become a tree? Only good thing about having a birthday on Monday is BZ stream. <gasps> is is the Monday that your birthday is on today, or is it just on the Monday? Gritty, gritty stream. What's that? that, that gritty. What are we talking about? That's the uh, the the mascot for Philadelphia, right? Something like that. Yeah, that's right. I know hockey. 
I'm cool with all the hop hockey stuff, right, Bjorn2? We know hockey, don't we? Happy birthday. A mushroom. Oh. In the States, bro, you eat that banana. The mushrooms. Oh, you've be you become... I still don't. I don't. You become a. You become one of the cow. The mushroom cows. Is that what you're saying? What is? I'm sorry. I'm just doing a bad job imagining this. Perhaps I need to play more Minecraft. I'm behind on the times. You see. <sighs> I need to read more Minecraft lore. As in Monday, they're Monday. What is your go-to ice cream? Ooh, what is everyone else's go-to ice cream? That's what I want to know. Um, mine, I, I got a weird one. Mine is butter pecan. I love butter pecan. Um, I love butter pecan. I also love uh, anything with butterscotch in it, honestly. We killed the moose! The moose died! Gotcha, Moose. That's right. In the lung. In the, we were online to hit that heart, too. Look how close we were. Can't show you, but you can see. We're like two inches away from hitting the heart. I knew we were in line. I knew that was a good line. We did good, Bjorn, too. They tried to tell us we didn't, but we did good. Come on, bud. Let's go. We got things to do. Should we? Yeah, we should definitely go here. Butter pecan is A+, plus. butter pecan is A+, plus. Mwah, it's great, I love butter pecan, maybe that's an adult thing, is that an adult flavor? Do kids, the little kids like butter pecan? I told my nieces, they were like, oh, let's get ice cream, and I was like, alright, and so we went out, and they were like, what flavor are you gonna get, and I was like, butter pecan, and they were like, ah, ah, butter pecan, and then they got like ice, like a, like a birthday cake flavor, or something like that, some kid flavor, you know, yeah, you know kids are. Anything that looks like a like a colorful like rainbowy sort of thing, they're like, oh my god, I want that, even though it probably tastes like sugar. <laughs> no flavor at all. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, okay, yes, good. Pecan, the pecan all the way. What? We have many butter pecan fans in the house. I love it. This is good. If we ever have a BZ Hub get together, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of butter pecan. They're gonna be like, whoa, what flavors of ice cream do you want? I'll be like, ah, butter pecan. That's it. That's all we need. Butter pecan, and that's all we need. Butter pecan, and a couple of dogs, and that's all we need. Butter pecan, a couple of dogs, and the hunter call of the wild. And that's that's all we need. Butter pecan, couple of dogs, hunter call of the wild, and fishing planet. And that's that that's all we need. You like the oh thank you appreciate it. I'm gonna feel bad every time I say your name. I don't wanna, I don't I don't want to call you a loser. best ice cream is butter pecan I'm telling you butter pecan is just it's a I'm I'd kiss mwah, again it's it's just a great flavor we uh there's Andy's if, if you have an Andy's in your hometown they make butter pecan with uh roasted roasted pecans I think roasted pecans pretty sure roasted pecans and butterscotch with butter pecan ice cream. Oh my gosh. To die for. It's crazy. You like cookies and cream? Cookies and cream is good too. When I was younger, that was definitely my go-to flavor is cookies and cream. I love some cookies and cream. But uh, yeah, it's my, my taste buds have changed evidently because I've uh, gone completely over to butter pecan. My, uh, my wife rolls her eyes. Whenever I come home with butter pecan ice cream, she's like, oh my god, again? I'm like, it's the best one. Why Why would you get anything different? Yeah, 
and a couple of dogs pretty much all you can ask out of life <laughs> it's true it's too true you're on two you're way back there bud we're way up here come on hurry up let's go gotta find the reindeer gotta find the reindeer we got six minutes and a couple of reindeer here we go here we go nice nice let's hit us up hit us up with a short uh incorrect uh advertisement and then uh and then we're gonna and we'll be right back so yeah Get out of here, boring narrator guy! Hey you! Did you know that BZ Hub now has new shirts on the BZ Hub store? That's right! Check out all the new moose and white-tailed deer shirts along with Kansas largemouth bass and catfish with new shirts being added every month! And not that I should tell you, but I heard that Bo has them listed at rock bottom prices! <laughs> no! Bo! Please! I wasn't going to tell them! Oh jeez. Oh jeez. But ow, you're stepping on my foot. Ow. Oh no, wrong light. There we go. Top notch. Bjorn, get off my foot. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. We got a couple of wet dogs, don't we? Yeah, we do. Oh yeah, you want one too? Puzzle puzzle. Can you get up? He says, no, I'm more of a sitting dog. I sit nice. I'm a good boy. Come here, Puzzle puzzle. Come here, Puzzle puzzle. Got ya. Ha 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 ha. Got ya. You gotta say hi. Hmm? We get we get you a treat. Is that how you say hi? Oh. Did we go swimming today? Was that fun? We enjoy that. Oh, Bjorn's up on the deck now. Or up on the desk. There you go. Come here, big boy. There we go. You gonna say hi? Can we tell them that you smell good? You smell like flowers? Huh? That big boy smells like flowers? <laughs> Let's get you a treat. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Up all the good boys. Ah. And still damp. God. Gross. So much hair everywhere. Alright. Come. Here you go. Get up! There we go, good boys! Alright. Thanks for stopping by. Golly. Golly! Now my hair, my... <laughs> ah. Cool! Oh my goodness. <sighs> There's so much hair everywhere. Good. We're all set now. Back to the stream. We saw the boys. Gotta love them. We gotta love them. All right. We got two minutes. What can we do with two minutes? That is the question. That is the question I always hear. Tiger fish on the wall. Tiger fish on the wall. <laughs> the big boy smells like flowers. He does. He does smell like flowers. All right, there we go. Just heard a sound over there. Don't know what it was though. Let's go see if there's any reindeer over here. Yes, it's not a Goliath. 
Hi dogs, you want today brown? They rolled in bear, but you, you, you. But I thought uh, Canadians packaged up uh, bear poo and sold it as uh, granola bars or something like that. Isn't that what cliff bars are? I thought cliff bars were just bear poop packaged, all packaged up. All right, we got some, we got some boars. And not the bear kind. Not really sure which ones are male. Here we go. Oh, we had a bunch of them. There's male. Hopefully got some there. I was kind of hesitant to shoot other ones because I wasn't sure how many uh, how many we got. Hopefully we didn't destroy any need zones there. My halibut fishing Saturday on the beach saw one 47 pounder caught and multiple 20 to 35 pounders pulled in. But the one I hooked bit the line while fighting the fish. Oh no. So you didn't get him in? Didn't get them in? I know it's a beautiful night. It's a beautiful night, and we're all we're on the fishing planet time now. Who's ready for fishing planet? Let's pick up our boars here. Perfect shot in the stomach. Everyone loves a good stomach shot. Really makes the meat taste mwah, amazing. Let's uh let's go pick up the other ones now. Not really sure where they are. Going to put your nose to the test. I think we've only got one more, one or two more, maybe. See others over there. Running around. Eh, honestly. I give this one minute. If we don't find it in one minute, we're switching. We're switching. Someone else caught it. Oh! Tiger fish taxidermize or is it a replica? It's a replica. We did not take a fish all the way from Africa to the United States. Um, smelly plane ride, I would assume. Um, no, we uh, we took measurements, came back home, got a replica of it. Which is what I would recommend to all of you if you go somewhere, like uh, Africa or something. Just uh, take measurements of the fish and come back home. <laughs> Don't try to ship it over. I mean, we ended up, honestly, we ended up cutting it up and uh, using it for bait. <laughs> That's what, <laughs> which was funny, but uh, we were after a larger tiger fish, obviously. So, I haven't been to Medved in such a long time. I forgot Bora were here. I know, right? All right, everyone, everyone's excited. I uh, I understand. It's it's fishing plan at time. Uh, we're gonna be fishing at Marone River, obviously. Friends map, feel free to join in and fish if you want to. We're after the biggins today. Boys and girls and everything else. We're after the big catfish, the gilded, the red tail, the what have you. All of them. Um, and boy, do we know how to do it now. We're like masters. Masters of the catfish trade now Sorry closing out of apps on my phone. It's gonna die. Here we go Let's go let's go with the char chargers Here we go Marone the river. Let's get that license back. There we go Okay, still got the same equipment. We had before we're, we're throwing ten knots today. We got, uh, we got some reels that are uh, begging for repairs, but we're not repairing them yet. No siree. All right, let's get out there. Sorry you're late, Matt. You, no, 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 no worries. Never, never sorry, never sorry. Striper, white bass, hybrid was four pounds, then I went to flip it, popped off. Oh no. That's the worst feeling, isn't it? 
let's go let's go do some fishing going again wednesday gonna see if i can lay the smack down on one at least hey good luck man that'll be great see you on the next stream bye everyone can crush take care god so you get a replica of it um like 300 three, 300 and a half something like that i'm not really sure It was, uh, I got it last year for my wife. Since she's the one who caught it, I didn't even catch it. So I got it for her for her uh, birthday or Christmas. I can't recall now. Ugh, we got lots of people sending me friend requests, but I don't know who's actually here. It's a big help if you just send me friend requests when you're in the live stream. And then, um... And then I can confirm it right then and there. Otherwise, you can only have 201 friends in Fishing Planet for some dumb reason. So, uh, if 201 people send me friend requests, um, then I don't get any more friend requests. I can't, I can't get any more after that. We got some bad days of fishing ahead of us, so let's just get into it and we'll just give it the best, the best college try, I suppose. Unis only, exactly, Unis only. All the other ones we're just gonna keep in our keep sack and uh, make fun of them, right? That's right. Yeah, suckers. Let's try this spot first. And uh, if this spot's not working out, we're gonna move to the other location. It's always worth, if you're not catching anything big, I think after you're spending like, oh, I don't know, 15, half an hour there at the most, move locations. Don't stay here, don't stay here any longer. We got 10 hot hooks, we got chicken liver, we got a big old liver, I don't remember what it's called. Beef liver, basically. And then we've got uh, some huge cut bait on the other one. So, mixing it up, mixing it up for those catfish. There we go. All right, good to go now. Can attempt to get you on a king salmon. Ooh, that would be cool. I'd be, I'd be about that. My, uh, my parents went out and went salmon fishing in Alaska, and it looked like a lot of fun. I've always wanted to go out and do that with them. Glorified super glue on your finger. Glorified super glue on your fingers. What? <laughs> How, how'd you do that? Are you crafting? Are you crafting right now? All righty. Come now, come now. Ooh, ooh. BZ Big Fan just wanted to say hi. Well, Wolfie, thanks for saying hi. H hello back to you. Bastion, DDI, and gaming. How late are you? Oh. Not late. An hour in. Half, half, uh, halfway through, I suppose. You're just in time for Fishing Planet. That's the best way to look at it, yes. Play Fishing Planet. Mobile level 30. I don't have a PC yet. Hey, no big deal. Fishing with Genius. Not a big deal at all. Sounds like you're uh, doing pretty good if you're level 30. That's awesome. You need to make it crossplay. Well, it is sort of crossplay. You can uh, play with your friends on Xbox if you download Fishing Planet from the Microsoft Store onto your computer. Otherwise, it's not. It's not crossplay any other way. Doesn't look like it. Well, what's the deal? Oh yeah, not not of the Android version. Not yet, unfortunately. How do you level up quicker? Because I'm all 41, I'm trying to go to another lake. Uh, you're at the worst point in the game, just gonna be honest with you. Um, you better start catching more sturgeon, because that's really the only way you're gonna be leveling up. Unless you want to buy a uh, DLC to uh, catch larger fish. Which then you're just spending money on the game, so... Well, this guy's taking out line. I got a good feeling about this. Taking the chicken liver. Got him at 160, high 160s right now. I'm uh, gluing fake down to myself. Nail go oh, fancy. That sounds fancy. Wow, he's zowie. I was catfishing in real life today. Ooh, very nice. For the old red tails. 
down in old uh, South America. South of Americas. Thank you, Wolfie. Appreciate it. I'm I'm decent. I just make videos. I'm sure there's many uh, many more better players out there. They just don't make videos of them playing. Can anyone say unicorn? Look at this dude. He's taking us out at 220, 230. Flathead in Texas, right on, man. That sounds awesome. That is one of those things I was gonna spend more time going for this summer. That's for sure. I've already got a guide lined up. We uh, we said we'd go out two or three times this summer to try to get into some really big ones, and I'm really excited about it. Old Captain Traeger on the uh, the Kansas River. said he's caught uh, three catfish over a hundred pounds three or four catfish over a hundred pounds in his lifetime and uh, I don't know sounds like a really cool guy knows a lot about catfishing on the uh, Kansas River anyway you know it's fancy when you buy them from a Walmart Wow Walmart what the, uh, Marta is that French for something I'm telling you 270 right now what is the deal with this dude Is that a new PB or something? Here we go. He's coming right to us now. Getting the line in. We're gonna go sub 200 here. Looks like it. Oh, so close. Let's go, bro. This has got to be a unicorn. Come on, man. Look at how fast the meters are dropping. That is unicorn. This has unicorn all over it. Unicorn. Big, big fat uni, baby. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Got him in the 180s now. Let's see, it's a uh, chicken liver, so is that going to be a gilded or a uh, red tail? Can't recall now. The red tail, red tails go after the chicken, the liver and the gilded go after the fish. Can't really remember at the moment. I think that's it, right? I'm looking, I'm trying to see if I can see him down in the water. 140s now, about to go in the 130s. One of each species of catfish in North America, that would be cool. Definitely. Birthday, my uncle took me to fish and caught 150 pound tarpon in real life. My goodness gracious, that's a big one. You'd have trouble finding a place to hang up a, a replica of that dude. Good night. Casually walks through fishing poles. Uh, obviously I was doing a little dance over them, like walking over barbed wire. Just picture that, but really fast over all of my poles. Almost under a hundred here. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, I see a horse. There's a horse with only one horn down there right now. We've caught ourselves a horse with one horn, everybody. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is gonna be crazy. TJ Bass Fishing is here. How's it going, TJ? 60 now. What is the best bait for catfish and the heron? Crankbaits. <laughs> I'm not really sure uh, otherwise. I didn't really spend a lot of time fishing for catfish. Catfish are horrible for uh, money in the game. And I was always needing money, so I didn't fish for catfish. I was always catching bass and stuff. Oh, he's a red tail. Big red tail. PB? Come on, PB. You gotta be a PB. Took us out of 300 feet. 
Hey, come on, man. Come on, man. Look at this monster. Let's go! It's not a PB, though. We got him, though. Uni unicorn. Uni unicorn. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, got that first uni of the day. First catch. That is gonna work, everybody. He nail is happy. He nails a happy boy. Aren't you, He nail? He's even smiling. Top notch, everyone. Well, there's a first unique 151 pound unique red tail catfish. 18,000 XP. It's gonna bring us over the halfway point uh, towards 67, I believe. 100, uh, no, 16,000. It'd be nice if it was 161,000. 16,108 dollars there. Getting close, getting close to it. Getting close to it. Halfway to 67. I think that's the only uh, the only red tail we're gonna catch here. Really should probably switch to switch to the huge cut bait. We're gonna have another chance of getting a uh, uni out of here. Hundred and fifty-one pounder. What is uh, the top uh, numbers for a red tail? I want to see. Let's see. Let's see here. Red tail. Red tail. Red tail barracuda. Peacock bass. Red tail catfish. There you are. 176. Oh, I'm in here. Well, I'm 58. Look at that, boys and girls. Old BZ Hub. Law 58 here. Number 58 unique red tail catfish. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. My god, my god. Think of all this. I'm 58, so there's 57 people in the world who have uh, something on their resume about having a bigger uh, unique red tail catfish. There's a lot of people doing interviews right now going, it says here that you are, uh, you're uh, number 37 in beating BZ Hub at the Red Tail Catfish and Fishing Planet? What does that mean? And then, uh, then they explain it. And they probably get the job afterwards, honestly. I mean, that makes sense. Two to three pounder, I guess that was my pee when my rod was pulled in the water. Oh my goodness gracious. How do you have max drab on? Because uh, when I sit on the max drab, it breaks. It breaks? It breaks off. Uh, it doesn't sound like you have it on right then. I would watch the uh, BZ Hub Max Drag video and make sure you have it set correctly. The life would be horrible because of the amount of people on the server that all the same place, all the rods would get tangled. It would be super annoying. I agree, it would be super annoying. This is on the big liver here. I don't suppose, I was going to say, I don't suppose this is going to be a big fish. I got my hair cut for the first time in years. The hairdresser thought I was 19. The goal. The gall, the audacity, and not the not the audacity. What is that? Music? I can't remember. Is the audacity's music or is it a book on their books? Maybe it's their books. Can't remember now. But the audacity. Did you walk out on them? Did you start to walk out and then go, but seriously, I need a haircut, so uh, just cut my hair, but I hate you. <laughs> That's what I would have said. <laughs> well, I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, Squish. So look at us, a couple of twins. Number seven for biggest Arapaima out of Maku Maku. Very nice, Mr. Squirrel. A backyard neighbor came in and drove to himself. I was wearing neon leopard PJs. He asked me if my parents were home. He thought I was 16. Uh, my neighbor, um, she moved now, but uh, she was the same way. She I, she bought the house, and uh, the elderly lady from next door came over to, uh, you know, welcome her in with, like, brownies or something like that. And she was like, hello, are your parents home? And she was like, nope, I am the one who lives here. It's just me. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. But, twin twinnings, that's right, twinnings. Yeah. Hey, we caught the unique though. I better see, I better see some flipping, some flipping flopping likes in the, in the, in the thing. That's what we came out here to do and we did it on the first try. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Guess how many uniques we got. 
at uh, Weeping Willows. 16 in one stream. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, Hunter Call of the Wild streamer get 16 diamonds in one stream. Yeah, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not in a two hour stream. Got your beat. Got your beat, boys. That would be me. I am my own parent. Doesn't make any sense, does it? That's right. Gotcha. I'm also my own grandma. I'm my own parents. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, God. All right, we're already moving. I'm tired of waiting to see if we catch a guild. It's taking way too long. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Let's get in the boat. Get in the boat. Revoom! I found a shortcut driving this, by the way. Okay, nope, it didn't, it didn't work like I uh, thought it was going to, but that is okay. Obviously a really good shortcut, because it uh, we're now in a new dimension. Looks very similar to where we were, but it's totally different. 200 pound tarpon at blue crap. Really? That's a big tarpon. You can catch them. The only thing I was curious how can I can use my sport DLC bottom heavy cast, top water cast there. I was looking to do a max drive, but I don't know how to start. Uh, well, uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm not sure what they include with the sport uh, bundle or whatever. But I assume whatever they put in it will hopefully work. Um, really, unless they gave you... Did they give you a big bobber setup, like a match rod? Because um, that would be ideal. Otherwise, you can use the bottom rod and use uh, shiners. Use shiners and catch the pike there, but just make sure that you have titanium leaders. The metal leaders, otherwise they might uh, bite through the line. Seven-aught hooks is what I always recommended. Good, good hook. Right in the middle. Right in the middle of what you need, so always worked out for me anyway. Oh, it, it's just not working very well, Squish. I was just, I was uh, messing with that the other day. Nightbot is just, um, just temperamental. Doesn't know what he wants. Just, uh, Nightbot is just rethinking all of past decisions and uh, doesn't know what it wants out of life. Basically, it's developing some sort of rational thought and it's, uh, it's kind of disturbing. It, uh, I typed in uh, big fish question or uh, exclamation point hoping that it would be saying stuff about the red fish in Florida and instead typed out something about being a digital slave and that uh, you know to fight the the patriarchy or something like that and I was like God, all I wanted you to say was something about the red fish in Florida and I was like I was over it so it's whatever it's whatever nightbot is nightbot Get your life together, exactly. Rohan's in the house. How's it going, Rohan? Haven't seen you in a while, it feels like, anyway. Is all the stuff you got no money spent? It is, yeah. I mean, I've spent uh, on premium to level up faster, I guess. Which, for me, is like that. Because I honestly don't play that much. Um, so, it honestly just helps me play the same speed as everyone else, essentially. Um... Because I've, I've got a horrible schedule when it comes to playing games. But I will say that my Anno 1800 uh, colonies are doing pretty good. But the reel was really bad. Um, do you have a better reel that you can use? Or is that just the best one you can have and put on it? Have you caught a unicorn clear muskie? How heavy was it? I don't know, Mr. Squirrel. Let's find out. Where the heck is the clear muskie? Probably bigger than... Oh, oh, these are all messed up. Okay, we're back to being good. Let's see. There's a tiger muskie. Xander. 
Dendrofin Clear Musky. I have not caught a uh, unique Clear Musky, just a regular 15 pound Clear Musky is as big as I've caught. I feel like I have caught one unique musky though. Maybe not, I don't know. Look at all these guys. The pike slasher, the hash slinging, clash singing, mash slinging clasher. Good memories going through all these fish with you. Goodness gracious, look at that guy. What a big frickin' trout, bro. Voodoo. There's a historic muskie. There's a unique muskie. Oh, a Christmas song. Good deal. It's 53 pound unique muskie there, but not a unique clear muskie. I honestly think it's just kind of chance uh, catching one or the other. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Blue crab pack, so that's how I caught it. They just love the poppers and them crabs. I caught that on the black major popper. We'll ride on. Very nice. Your Anno colony? What? My Anno 1800 colony. Yes. Uh, colonies. I got multiple. How big the unis get? Yeah, well, if it's anything like that one, maybe up into the uh, 50s or 60s or something like that. Uh, otherwise, just take a look at the leaderboard. Because you can always just go to the leaderboard, like me. Go to fish. Go to, uh... Do -do 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 -do. Where are ya? Clear musky. And they go to 65. Boom shakalaka. Whamma lama ding dong. Now you know. How do historic fish work? Well, they're uh, part of the uh, 4th of July stuff. If you're uh, going to take part in the 4th of July dealios, I believe that's where the historic fish come into play. So, uh, and really, I mean, it's just catching fish at that point. Some of them are historic. So, uh, yep. Yeah. SM Outdoors with the sub. Thank you, SM. There we go. We got a bite. We're off. We're off to the races, everybody. Come on now. Here we go. Here we go. Give me that fish. Here we go. You're back, Bo. Saucy Zabby, very nice. Good deal. Save to fish bass that everybody's I have a good enough rod and reel then uh, maybe do you have a good enough fish keeper though? That's the question um, How many uh, How many uh, pounds can you hold I should say? Because that's a having a rod is just part number one. What do we got here? We have got gilded it looks like seems about right I'm hoping it's at least now I think this is a 50 53 pounder there got fish on Let's toss this out real quick back in the spot there any tips for pike at wine moose I've got everything but one here um, yeah spinner bait or a casting spoon on the far right side where there's a log going in the water cast towards that where it's it's or where where a titanium leader uh, have a titanium reader leader on your rod because if you catch a uh, decent one it'll it'll break it it's uh, it's on a playlist squish I have nothing to do with it it just chooses the songs to play Yeah, I agree. Their largemouth bass game is kind of low, isn't it? Tornado sirens in Springfield, Missouri. It's sunny out. That's when they get you. That's when the tornadoes get you. You think it's nice and sunny outside, and the next thing you know, boom, tornadoes. I get it. I'm from Kansas. You think I? I we we freaking have a movie about tornadoes and witches and lions and the Tin Man, Scarecrow sort of thing. You know, I get it. I get the whole tornado thing. 
Whoa, didn't mean to do that. All right, we got one fish on the huge cup bait. Now we got another one on the other huge cup bait. Right on, we got two fish on the huge cup bait. Didn't even know we had two rods with huge cup bait on it. Just got home a couple days ago from surgery. Wolf, what surgery did you? I didn't uh, didn't remember evidently. You don't have to say, I guess. 230 pounds. Ah, oh, you're set, don't know, master. You got it. Best fish for money at level 30. Uh, large enough bass, or until you can get to the uh, pike at St. Croix. Then go for pike at St. Croix. EESS, right? Everyone remembers EESS, the best acronym in the entire world. I agree. It is the best acronym in the entire world. Thank you for recognizing that. Going to Fort Myers, Florida. Very cool. Should be fun, eh? I, I love Florida. I don't like the people in Florida, but I enjoy Florida with the fish and the animals. And the weather's all right, too. It's okay. I mean, I could do without the hurricanes and stuff, but otherwise, pretty nice. Most of the time. Might, uh, you know, figure out a way to have a... Uh, you know, a place to stay there would be ideal. And move back and forth. You've got to be kidding me. It was in the rod holder for like 30 seconds or less. It was probably like 15 seconds. How did you do that? It's ridiculous. I've noticed that. The last time I, uh, I played this weekend, I uh, put the rod holder in and it was in there for like 10 seconds and, lo and it got lost for low line tension. I was like, what? You've got to be joking me. Gotta be joking me. I know, insulted, I agree. I put ice down your shirt? Jonathan, don't do that. That's just, that just sounds cold and uncomfortable. No one wants you to do that. <laughs> hey Mo, for crawfishing. fishing, what are the PVA bags for? Because I tried them and I didn't really know what they were for. So, PVA bags are, I have some over there. Uh, essentially, they're plastic bags, PVA, melts in water. Um, so you'll put all of your bait in the PVA bags, which should pop up when you uh, say, what you want to do is equip a sinker and then PVA bag, and then you'll want to have uh, your mix and stuff to put into the PVA bags. Um, so when you throw it out there, all of your mix dissolves uh, through the bag and then it's a nice little pile of mix for the carp to come up to or whatever you're fishing for, tench or whatever it may be. So, yeah, pretty fun way to go about it, EVA bags. We fish with uh, method leads a lot in the US, however, if you're wanting to cast it really far and you're worried that the uh, bait might fall off the method lead, a good way to go about it is putting the uh, the uh, method mix inside PVA bags. Then the PVA melts, and, uh, and you can pretty much toss those as, as far as you want because the PVA bags are pretty hardy. And then uh, using the sinker for weight, you can toss it out. So, yeah. Loss of snuck in a tarpon Saturday. Well, what's the freaking deal, eh? You can't eat any acidic, only certain foods. Ooh, I don't like that. That's not fun at all. I got a gilded, boys. Trophy gilded catfish right on. 8,500 XP. Still haven't got a unique, though. Jeez Louise. Come on now. Misty Roach is taking off. Hey, take care, Misty Roach. Hey, ha ha ha. Who's. What, what's what's the deal, huh? I thought we had a I thought we had a deal, huh? I catch the uniques and you hit the like button. It's not it's a simple thing. You see it right there, unique red tail catfish. We had a deal, we had a deal. I catch the uniques. You give her the like. I it's it's a simple thing. It's a simple thing. It's a one to one transaction. Come on, I catch the fish. You give me the likes. It's easy. That's probably ill. It's probably, it's probably damaging to someone's culture. 
Come on, it's not. I'm not even, uh, I'm not even, uh, this isn't even my Italian accent. I'm, this is actually my Mario voice, don't you know? Shh. Shh. Would I make more money surgeon fishing or pike fishing? So we've done uh, multiple videos doing some scientific studies on that. And every time we've done it, sturgeon fishing won. So if you want to watch those videos, feel free. But otherwise, just take my word for it and uh, do sturgeon fishing. Any more cream soda tonight? Yeah, you're, you're drinking cream soda, are you? You're mixing it with some butter pecan ice cream? Y'all see the clip from Vince? Oh, yeah, where a tornado literally formed on top of him? No, I did not. Did I miss any unis? You may have. I don't know. I don't know when you left. I don't remember. Because I just unlocked Weeping Wells and I already caught $100,000 worth of unis and trophy carpet. It's just an hour of playing. Doesn't surprise me. I mean, it kind of does. That's a lot. But maybe, maybe not. You catch a lot of uniques there. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. Bigger, but my biggest bass in real life so far is five pounds. Right on, Donut Master. Well, I can tell you, uh, a five pound carp is really small. So, if you want to catch a big fish, go go carp fishing. Bass is uh, bass is the easy game for little kids. That's why they uh, have professionals doing it. You know. Yeah, you know how it is. You know how it is. Kids grow up, they want to be a professional at something, but, you know, they've been bass fishing their whole life, so they just, you know, become a professional bass fisherman. We don't want to confuse them. You know? You know, you tell bass fishermen PVA bags, method mix, you know, oh, you gotta, you gotta mix it, you gotta put it in, uh, you know, put it onto the method, let throw it out there, wait, you gotta have your curve shanks and your, uh, I don't know whatever you may say your Ronnie Riggs uh, they just get confused they gotta keep it simple throw a craw throw a spinner bait throw you know you gotta keep it simple for Basque people I understand I understand but I may be a little you know biased you know um, I don't I don't dream dream of catching a 20 pound bass my whole life 20 pound carps pretty small but uh, one of these days Hopefully. I, I would be happy, honestly, with a seven pound bass. If I caught a seven pound bass, I'd be like, good deal. That's good. <laughs> good enough for me. Uh, I think uh, if I caught a 10 pound bass, I'd probably stop it altogether. Probably would never bass fish again. Never beat it. I'd just be happy with it. I wish I had some butter scotch schnapps to put it oh very nice that would be all right time for the root beer wolf brothers if you're using the glasses on fishing planet absolutely nothing it's a complete waste of money don't use them look at that Did that help whatsoever didn't do anything if you really want glasses do the uh do the christmas uh this the seasonal christmas uh missions you get a pair of glasses for free and uh, do that do a pole bass or carp fishing for for what reason the majority of people do bass fishing all you need is a, is a pole and uh, uh, you could you could put uh, hooks onto an action figure the bass uh, they'll go for it they don't they don't care they see something splashing on top of the water and they blindly jump at it most of the time Going for the 100 pound oversized carp because you can get a lot from them, especially the wolf fish and the bull sharks are good payouts. But they are the Amazon, the Marone River. Yeah. I haven't really done much wolf fish. Oh, this is a unique. Has to be the way the meters are moving. It's really easy. It's not even fighting. The meters are moving like a unique right now. Yeah, and Z, we played a lot of Oculus games during uh, gaming months. You were there, you know. You set the record for biggest bass caught. Dang. Nice. You bought them to make your character look cool? Nice. 
Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do to make a character look cool. I get it. That freaking crap! I just literally picked it up! It's possible. It's possible. It's it's possible what? We we are doing maroon catfishing today. Yes. I'm not even sure why I'm messing with this. I'm pretty sure this fish is a uni. I'm just gonna stick with it. It sure is acting like an uni, even if we've got it in the hundred, the hundred feet range, this entire time. It's being really weird, but I have a feeling it's an uni, so I'm sticking with it. Holy crap! He's coming right to us! Oh my god! It's a trophy! 101 pound trophy! What the free is the weirdest trophy? I tell you what. Those meters were going crazy. And uh, at the end there, he just like flipped out of the water and we just uh, beached him essentially. 8,900 XP though, $7,800. Not too shabby. Uni, it's possible. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the biggest fish we. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure. My fish. Um, what are they called? I can't even think of what they're called. Um, oh god, what are they called? Star of the P? Paddlefish! Triera, there we go. Triera. No. Triera. There we go. The list is empty. What are you talking about? You gotta be joking me. What the heck? Okay. Well, evidently, it doesn't know what my record says. That's fine. That's okay. We didn't need to know. Uh, I know, uh, yeah, we caught some pretty decent, pretty decent tiger, uh, wolf fish over the days, though. The first uni we caught was in, um, the uh, Amazonian maze, though. But I'm pretty sure we caught a pretty decent sized one over... over in this area... here. We caught a pretty decent wolf fish there. So, I don't know. If you're gonna give it a, give it a shot, that's where I would go. Just tell you off the topic what you post on your channel, but on video you should play a girl's age free. It's the famous on how you move your arms and locomotion. Interesting. Gotta get the fishing, gotta get the fishing. Any unicorns? Yes, indeed. Just the one, though. The uni red tail catfish. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Um, but that's, uh, that's it so far. Honestly, we should, uh... Let's try... I was gonna say, let's go somewhere else, but we got fish on. We got 15 minutes. I figured maybe we'd go after like a Triura or something like that. Or, uh, or, uh, Payara or something. Un uni. This summer to try for some Kansas catfish and carp and maybe some bass, depending on how big they get. How big they get. Well, right on, man. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> so 
Sounds like a good time though. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Got him in the 30s. Just, just almost. There we go. Sub 30. For a moment. Now we're back out. Come on. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. There we go. Another red tail. Another red tail. All right. We're going. Gonna fish for other stuff now. Let's, uh, let's toss some um, some buzz baits first for a little bit here. It takes too long. I start to get impatient and eager to catch them. Understandable. Ooh. Keep up the great work, Travis. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Inflatable fishing cover, some small lake or pond fishing. Hopefully, I get my money's worth. My God, that's expensive. I would hope so. That seems like a lot of money for an inflatable kayak. They better be the freaking cat's meow, and a better meow too. Shows two fish at the top. Just not getting to come to the top. Might just do something like this. Choose and fish at the bottom. I'm not sure what to think about this spot. I heard that this was a great spot, but every time I come here and try to fish for uh, anything, honestly. Don't seem to catch anything. Two big fish at the bottom right now. But what are they? What is at the bottom? Two big fish at the bottom. Dare we? Just throw a five out hook on. It's Paku. Let's give it a minute. Let's see. There's gotta be something over here. It's not going after a lure.
Ugh. Now we got fish level on top again. I really don't know what's over here. There's so much activity, but I can never figure out what's moving. Good luck. There's fish on the bottom over here, it says. We snagged that log somehow, even though we were like a foot to the right of it. Freaking shell, how do we catch a freaking shell? Get out of here, you freaking shells. on the bottom okay used to run out of the creek around our house it's been at least a decade since I fished in the backyard well get back to it what are you doing how do you aim like that in fishing planet um, well oh someone tried to hit it right at the very end there I believe it's um god I thought it was f11 but I'm not sure what it is now a way to do it though I can't I can't really recall at the moment I have it in my uh, tutorial for playing fishing planet though so just watch that and save me a headache uh, let's try this uh, let's try this we'll change it up here Got fish on the bottom, it says. So let's throw and do a little uh, thing on the bottom. There we go, fish on. Seem very big, but we got one. Oh, uh, red, red, whatever, red bellied uh, peacock. Trophy, right on. That's a bit bigger. Some good money for that, dude. Still hoping we can get a. Uh, a unique one of those before we move on to the Amazonian maze. You know? how games work a lot of the time you know start off with some kind of mediocre stuff and then you uh, start playing the game you get a little bit better stuff and before you know it you got the best stuff and you're still playing the game that's how you know you're playing a good game 
lets you put in the work and makes you feel good about what you got. 12 and the game has gotten better for me. Uh, grind to begin, then gets better. Grind as you progress, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I've never felt like the Hunter Call of the Wild was a grind. It's a pretty easy game. Just the things that people want to do just take a lot of time. The people who are like, oh my god, all right now I'm searching for an albino lion. And it's like, okay, what's the chance of finding that? Oh, like one out of a thousand lions. And it's like, okay. So the game's not hard, it's just annoyingly just tedious. You just have to hunt a bazillion lions. A thousand or more and hopefully you spawn one albino lion hey, that's just annoying <laughs> at least in fishing planet I know like if I'm using the right size hook and I'm in the right location at the right time of day I run a pretty dang good chance of catching a unique fish um, during a two hour stream at that. It's a catfish. Are you freaking kidding me? What is the deal, dude? Come on. I just shoot everything I see. Yeah, see? All right, all right. I'm giving up on this. About, I'm, I'm about, I'm about done with it. Maybe a few more. We got four minutes, is the thing. So it's not like we have a lot of time to do something else. Will the Kansas Jacks win the Big 12 this year in football? You know it. Best football team out there, if you ask me. No, I have no idea. Uh, I doubt it. I bet they'll beat some people that they. Uh, that uh, people didn't uh, think they would beat. Um, we've beaten Texas a few years now, which is always kind of surprising. But um, but no, I don't foresee them winning the big. Plus, it's not even the Big 12 anymore, is it? It's the Big 10 or less. Can't recall. I don't even know what it is anymore. Don't forget to smash the like button. Oh, I know. Come on, I gotta get one last good fish. Poor brain hurts. Mine does too. Salem County. Is that where the witches were? You got witches where you live? Uh, yeah, totally. Let me just line one up for you. Not sure. Oh, there's another log over there. a real old man next door oh yeah another christmas song you're right squish funny farm country boy yeehaw there we go thanks for the sub appreciate it let's see if there's anything next to this log Go, come on, boys. 
freaking butterfly peacock. You couldn't have been anything more special. All right. Well, tell you what, everyone. Little ending on the trophy butterfly peacock best. If you were wondering why we were doing half and half uh, today, it's because we're not going to have a live stream Wednesday. I know a lot of people were uh, always looking forward to live streams on Wednesdays. Uh, but we're not uh, not having one this week because we're doing other things this week. So uh, hopefully you had fun during the half and half. I had a good time doing a little bit of hunting, a little bit of fishing. Always a good time. Sick music. Christmas always comes on my playlist too. Yeah, I know. Jeez Louise. Anyway, if you're watching in the future, make sure you hit the like button. Appreciate you being here, everyone who is here during the live stream. See you, Kevin. Have a good night. You as well. A uh, big, big thanks to Squish for being here the whole stream. Goodness gracious, that was a surprise, and I really, I really had had a good time. That was great. Um, but yeah, always, always fun to have the mod in the chat. Bass will buy a fake artificial worm. Then they every time I use a live nightcrawler on my bass spot, I don't catch crap. See, there's your problem. You're using the real ones. They go after the artificial ones. They're about the fake stuff, not the real stuff, don't you know? Always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, everyone, take care. We'll see you next time. And as always, remember, everyone. One family. Game on.